Right next to this is the Gothic Fife Turm with its Baroque dome. Up until 1937, it served as a watchtower for the residents of Ingolstadt. Those who manage the 200 steps up to the gallery of the Pfeiffer Turm are treated to a fantastic 360 degree view of the city. Ingolstadt not only offers wonderful walks through the city, but also has a unique collection of museums. An example is the City Museum, the oldest museum in Ingolstadt, which exhibits the history of the region and the city from primeval times to today. Here you can see finds from the Celtic city of Manching and the famous Amber Collier. In 1996, Bavarian archaeologists found a vessel near Ingolstadt on the Danube with early Middle Bronze Age spirals made of sheet bronze on the legs. Approximately 2,800 amber beads with a matching necklace were also discovered. The Ingolstadt Collier is described as the most magnificent amber find of our time. Why the unique piece of jewelry was laid in the ground and who had worn it still remains a mystery today. The famous Swede's horse can also be seen here in the museum. The award-winning alteration of the former barracks houses the Museum for Konkrete Kunst. It is the only museum in Germany dedicated solely to the presentation of concrete art. The most important representatives of this art form are displayed in a space of approximately 1,000 square meters. That's almost 11,000 square feet. The Lechner Museum is also worth viewing. Here, the life work of Alf Lechner, one of the most important steel sculptors of the 20th century, is displayed in a permanent exhibition. Another attraction is the Audi Forum Ingolstadt. This car museum is located in a circular building in an extremely unusual architectural design. The Royal Bavarian music master, Adolf Scherzer, composed numerous military marches in Ingolstadt. Around 1850, he ensured his name would live on with probably his most well-known work, the Bayerische Defiliermarsch. Adolf Scherzer died in 1864, at the age of 49, and is buried at the Westfriedhof Cemetery. <laughs> 